Lena, I'd like to apologize. That's not necessary. Uh... No, I... I'm very sorry that I didn't accept yours and Bianca's feelings for each other. And, I mean, Bianca and I were just now discussing seeing life from another person's point of view, and I'd like to understand yours. Thank you. I, I really appreciate that. And Bianca's probably too kind to say it, but actually, we're just friends now. Well, then I'm very glad that she has such a, a close and good friend. Honey, I will uh, call you, okay? Excuse me for just a second. Um. Honey. I did not mean to say anything to hurt you. I, I know, baby. I know that our situations are entirely different in our pregnancies, too. See, people are more accepting these days. They, they, they understand what rape victims go through, and... At least I'm old enough to cope with this. You were only 14 years old. We are both strong enough to conquer anything now. Wow. Your mother. Oh, yes, yeah, she's full of surprises. Oh, I I'm sorry to just drop by, but I just wanted to let you know I, I may have to go out of town for a while. Oh, um, I hope not for very long. Oh, so do I. And, um, I would really like it if we could be friends. I can trust you now, right? Of course. Okay. You can't tell anyone what I'm about to say. Wait, are you going to say something about Michael's murder? No, I... I need you to deliver a message to Kendall. From me. Oh, sure. Kendall's been very nice to me, and we you know I'd do anything for you. I need you to tell her... Thank you. Tell her that I... It meant so much to me that she would protect me like that, and that I know what it cost her. And that I love her. Did you really forgive her for everything? <sighs> for her part in bringing Michael into your life? Lena, I've told you that I don't hold anyone responsible for what Michael did to me. Except Michael. No one else. Thank you for that. Stuck if Kendall hadn't come up with that lie. Okay, so Erica believes that Kendall wants you to try to sue Ryan Levery. Yeah, file a personal injury lawsuit against the Cambius estate and Ryan. But wait, that means that you have to go back to court then, right? Yeah, supposedly to get everything that Michael owned for Kendall, including enchantment. And your mom bought it? Well, it's what everyone expects of Kendall. Gosh, she must the worst. She must have freaked out then, huh? She went completely ballistic. And all I could do was sit there and watch Kendall go through that. Well, you know, maybe it's a warning sign. What do you mean? Well, I mean, Kendall completely trashed her relationship with your mother just to keep your secret. So maybe it's time for you to tell your mother that you're still pregnant. No, Maggie, do you, do you think that I would have just sat there and watched my mother go off on Kendall if I didn't know that telling the truth would be ten times worse for everyone. Yeah, but Kendall knows that you're still pregnant. No, Maggie, I'm not telling my mother. Oh, yeah, oh, good. I'm so glad I caught you. Did you give Kendall my message? Did you tell her how grateful I am to her? No, I'm sorry. Why not? The police wouldn't let me near her. The police? Kendall's been arrested for trying to kill Ryan Lavery. No. Do you let her go.
do something, okay? T Kendall didn't do anything Look, Bianca, wrong. She needs to be Bianca, let go. the force was sick. We, we hated seeing Cambius walk after he assaulted you, but that doesn't excuse what your sister did. Allegedly did, Derek. Look, Bianca, I can take care of myself. This is not your problem, Your okay? sister has to face the consequences of what she's done. No. You're the ones to blame for this. All of you. If you had done your jobs, if you had put Michael Cambius away for raping me, then none of this would have happened. Okay, Michael would be alive. Nobody would be accused of his murder. He'd be the one behind bars, not Listen, Kendall. Nobody's gonna argue with you on that, okay? Your sister's under arrest because she tried to whack her business rival. <sighs> she didn't. Yes, she did. <sighs> now, if you don't calm down... Whoa, 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 you, you calm down. You back off a second here. Easy. Listen, damn. listen, 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 Biggs. Just go, okay? No. Uh, these charges are bogus. I'm not I can ride them, them out. Finish. You okay? I, you need somebody to protect you now. I have a good now. lawyer. I have a good no. lawyer. Don't worry. I'll protect Kendall, I promise. It's not gonna do any good, okay? They... They want to see her behind bars. Everybody wants to see her locked up. They don't know. They think that you're like your father, but the youngest not. Bianca, stop it. Please, stop They it. don't know what we know, Kendall. They don't know that the children are innocent. Bianca, let's go children right now. Children can't be blamed for who their parents are, for what their parents do. It's not their fault. Bianca, let's go. No, I'm not going to leave without Kendall. I'm taking you home. No, whoa, 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 whoa. Just, uh, Bianca, please, just let me straighten this up. Somebody do something. I'm gonna leave without you, Kendall. I'm gonna protect you this time. Okay, I love you. I can't do this without you. I won't let them lock you up, Kendall. I won't. I'm gonna protect you. Okay. No, 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 no. Stop it. Leave us alone. Stop it. She didn't do it, okay? She didn't poison the... And you know this how? She didn't put the poison in the pills. Because I did. Kendall didn't poison the allergy capsules that Ryan took. I did. Lena, don't. The truth, I didn't mean to hurt Ryan. I left those capsules there for Michael. Why? Why? Because I wanted him to die. A slow, agonizing death. That's some confession you just made, Miss Kendera. Yeah, I'd like to hear it again in more detail. No, Lena, don't. I have nothing to hide, Kendall. No, I mean it. Keep your mouth shut. Look, he's off, Kendall. Oh, you and McCoy, just take well, a Josh, break. Josh, she just confessed to attempted murder. Yeah, and you can't question her without an attorney present. You bring charges against her, and all they're going to be tossed out of the field. No, she waves her right that. to an attorney, Forget what Jack. I said, Lena. You have rights. Why so will protect you? Protect me from what? The truth? Everybody knew what Michael was capable Lena, of. Lena, and Lena, I was Lena, 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 please, way. please, please. I urge you to seek counsel before you say another word. So they can twist the truth and get me out of this? Listen to Jackson. No, Ryan almost died because of me, an innocent man. Forget the lawyers, let me just clear my conscience once and for all. Yeah, that's right, Miss Kendera, let's go someplace a little more private. Yeah. No, let's do it out here, out in the open, in front of witnesses. Let them judge me. That night after the hearing, I came up with a plan to murder Michael Cambias. And I executed it. After the hearing, I, I was in shock. Michael got off. It was unthinkable. I, I knew better than most how sick and twisted he was, but the worst was what he did to Bianca. And there he was, a free man, free to terrorize her all over again. And I knew that he would, because with Michael, once you're his target, one attack was never enough. He'd come after you time and time and time again until he broke you. And he came after you, Bianca, because you were innocent and good and trusting. And he would never have left you alone until he crushed you. And there was nothing left until you were empty, just like he was. So I had to stop him. But I, I had to be careful. Michael was smart. I had to be smarter. Is that where the pills come in? Yes. I knew that Michael had allergies and that he took over-the-counter medicine for them. So, the night of the hearing, I bought the poison. The following morning, I put on a pair of gloves and I broke into his house when he wasn't there. I found the pills and I filled some of them with poison and then I, I just waited. And when I heard that he was missing, I just prayed that he'd taken a little dose and crawled under some rock to die. And that's it. 
I conspired to kill Michael Cambius. You can arrest me now and let Kendall go. Leland, the first thing we're going to have to do is to make this statement for me, all right? Yes. I'm sorry. Forgive me for making even more trouble. I don't want them to lock you up, Luna. It's okay. Remember what I said. Going to prison won't be a punishment. It'll be like a reward. So can I go now? I'll let you know your status after we get Lena's formal statement. It's not right. The only thing that... Everything that Lena did, she did to protect me. Bianca... I mean, I'm the one who should be punished, not her. I mean, all she did was love me. All she did... Whoa, whoa. Easy. Sorry. Uh, easy. Okay. Easy. It's okay. I'm okay. You're as white as a sheep. I think I'm going to call a doctor. Oh, I don't need a doctor. Come on, just to be safe. No, Aiden, okay? leave her alone. She's fine. She's fine. She looks everything but fine. No, okay, Aiden, listen to me, okay? She's upset, all right? Lena just dropped a major bombshell on her. She's yeah, fine. Bianca just killed over, Kendall. Yeah, yeah, she needs a few minutes to get herself together, not a doctor. And calling the doctor is not going to do any harm, Aiden, is it? Aiden, just back off, okay? What are you not telling me, Kendall? Nothing. Just give me a yeah, minute, fine, please. Fine, fine, fine. Lena, I know how much you care about Bianca. I love her. I know you do. And you saw how upset she was when Kendall was arrested. It broke my heart to watch her beg to have her sister released. And you would do anything in your power to make sure that Bianca had no more suffering ever, wouldn't you? I'd give my life. Yes. Tell me something, Lena. Is that what you just did in here? Did you claim to put the poison in those capsules so you could ease Bianca's pain? I mean, did you confess to a crime that you did not commit in order to keep Kendall out of jail? I poisoned those pills, and I can prove it. Call Dr. Hayward, call Dr. Gray. They'll tell you that I used that very same poison to try and take another life. My own. Yeah, I am, a little bit. How about some water? Yeah, that sounds great. Okay. Hey, should I call David? Kendall, the baby and I are just fine. Are you sure? I was really, I was really touched by the way you, you stood up for me out there. The way you just jumped up and shouted how much you needed me. You know what, Kendall? It was the truth. I do need you now. You're my sister. I love you. I love you, too. And I'm gonna fight for you. I'm gonna fight for you and Lena. I'm gonna convince her that she needs a really great lawyer, and I'm gonna put together a dream you team, and we're gonna Kendall, be unbeatable. You have your own battles to fight right now. You mean with Ryan? No, we can play Clash of the Titans anytime. Your family. You are so strong. You're a champion. You're gonna make an amazing mother. Amazing. I still think it's a good idea that you get in. I talked to Maria Gray, and she confirmed that Miss Kendall swallowed the same poison that we found in the allergy capsules. My God, Lena, I'm so sorry. I no, look, let, let's just finish this, okay? You have all the proof that you need, so go ahead and charge me with attempted murder. I have a few more questions first. <sighs> go ahead. You put poison in those capsules because you were hoping that Cambius would swallow them. Yes. But obviously, never even got around to taking them. Apparently not. Well, didn't you realize the insecticide was a long shot? Especially when you said you, you only doctored some of the capsules, right? What are you getting at? What we're saying is that maybe the pills were a blind. Could be that, or maybe you decided to go home and you couldn't leave Michael Kamsey's death to chance. So you went out and you got yourself a gun and you shot him. I did not shoot Michael. Uh, and I have no idea who did. Well, I don't believe you. 
Come on, Miss Gondera. Give it up. You bought a 38 to shoot Michael Cambius, didn't you? No, I did not shoot Michael. But you admit you wanted him dead? Well, yes, but I swan my mother's life I didn't shoot him. Well, spare us the trouble. You try to poison the guy. You know, spare us. We just back off. Jack, 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 Jack. She's lying about something. I told you the truth about the poison. Why would I lie about the gun? Well, why did you buy the gun? For self-protection. Oh, protection. Look, I was taking a huge risk sneaking into Michael's condo to Dr. De Perez. If he found me, I needed to defend myself. Did he find you? I mean, did you shoot him in self-defense? No. Then you won't mind handing the gun over for a uh, ballistics test, right? Lena? I don't have the gun. Lena, where is the gun? That night, I went down to the docks and I threw it in the river. I don't know what to do. No, this doesn't look too good for Lena. What do you think is going to happen to her? So they look. Wow, too bad Mikey didn't take a handful. Yeah. Where's Lena now? Well, she's inside being grilled. Ryan, you have to do something. We've got to find a way to get her out of this, please. Ryan, thank God you're here. Yeah, second that. Listen, I, I, I'm so glad that, that you're doing all right. You know that Lena didn't mean for any of this to happen. And she could be facing prison right now. And there's nothing I can do, but. I don't know if there's any way that you can help her out. I've got to ask you to, to please, please do it. Why would you toss out a gun that you just bought if you're not ditching evidence to tie you to a crime? I grew up near a military installation. As far back as I can remember, guns have made me very nervous. Not too nervous to buy one or to carry it on you. Like I said, it was for protection against Michael. Once I didn't need it anymore, I threw it away. Makes sense to me. I'm sure it does make sense to you, Jack. Why'd you try to kill yourself, Miss Kandera? Hmm? Guilt? Because you couldn't live with all the horrible things you did to Michael Cambius? So you try to go off and dose yourself with poison? Look who's back from the undead! Hey, guys, seriously, why don't we give the lady a break and just chalk my hospital gig up to a few bad clams and let her go? Get out of here. What? Go. Me? Yeah. Wait a minute, I'm, I'm the victim here. Don't I get a say? Or maybe I should call a press conference. Can't be some money speaks, people sit up and issue press releases. I hate to dim your spotlight, pretty boy, but the charges against Miss Kandera don't revolve around you. She's facing possible prison time for the attempted murder of Michael Cambius, her intended victim. Ryan, I'm so sorry. I, I assumed the pills would be thrown away once oh, the police were finished. Don't you dare apologize to me. Anybody who's got the guts to try and wipe Michael Cambius off this planet is my kind of hero. That's really cute, Ryan. That's really... Get the hell out of here. This is nice. Who killed Michael Cambius? Very... You know what? You guys are going to need to, like, a bigger board. <laughs> well, you know something we don't know? Well, see, the thing is, since you boys can't really find your rears with a map and a flashlight, I decided to do a little investigating of my own, turned up some new evidence. Shiny new suspect. Yeah, we got another dead end for us. No, actually, Jackson, you're gonna love this. Sex this case right up. What's that? This is a hard copy from some Cambia's family info I had emailed to me from my attorney. Check it out. Don't worry, sweetheart. This should get him off your case. Well, according to this, a woman in Milan signed an agreement not to press rape charges against Michael Camus in exchange for a rather large sum of money. Yeah, see, you just find the woman in Milan and get her alibi for the night Michael was killed. All this proves is that she was bought off. What? It proves Cambius had enemies all over the planet. I mean, what did he turn this town against him in a couple of months? Multiply that by the global network that aided his guts. Time to get rid of the little whiteboard here, gentlemen. This is your new list of suspects. Just find every phone directory from every city that Michael can be dirtied by breathing its air. And while you're at it, why don't you add me to the list? Ryan, you were in Vegas when Michael was murdered. Yeah, but there was a 24-hour window around Michael's death, and technically I could have... Hopped on the Cambius jet, flown here, touched down, plugged the creep, and got back in time for the last floor show. Don't you think we considered that? <laughs> what, are you serious? Yeah. And what about you, Derek? Man, you guys haven't made a righteous bus since you pulled me in here five years ago. <laughs> you know, Ryan, who cares? Doesn't even matter. Even if somebody in Cambius' past hated him enough to pull the trigger, that doesn't wipe out the charges of attempted murder against Miss Kundera. You're wrong there, Derek. You'll never have a strong case against Lena until you can pinpoint Michael's time of death. What are you talking about? If Michael died in the hours before Lena put the poison in those capsules, he had nothing to charge her with. Because you can't have the intent to kill somebody that's already dead. But if she didn't know... Doesn't it matter? 
If Michael ceased breathing before Lena put the poison in his allergy capsules, then you have no case. You have to set it free. Oh, which means it's time for you bozos to finally nail down the exact time Mikey bought it. I may have a way to do that. Kendall. Kendall. Lena got the charges against you dropped. How about you return the favor? How? Simple. If you married an alive and kicking Michael Cambius like you say you did, then Lena is guilty of attempted murder. So all you have to do to save her butt is to admit that your marriage was one big lie. I'm not the only one who can keep Lena out of jail. Hey, hey Kendall, just tell the truth. Ryan, oh, this is you. you. You did this. You set me up because this is still about the money, no, isn't forget it? Forget him. Forget him. If Cambius was still breathing when your marriage certificate says he was, then Miss Kendera is guilty of attempted murder. But if your marriage was bogus... Kendall, you realize if you change your story now, you're going to be incriminating yourself, right? Don't say anything, Kendall. It's all right. Kendall, you told me that you married Michael Cambius. You swore it to me. And I believed you. So tell me, were you lying to me? No. No, Bianca, I was telling you the truth. What, what, why does everyone not believe me? What is it going to take to convince you guys I'm telling the truth? Talk is cheap, Mrs. Cambius. That would be, uh, that would be nice. Yeah, maybe Mrs. like a witness who doesn't drop out of sight. I have a witness. I have a witness. I have a witness right here. Well, Kendall, what are you doing? Well, Maggie, you were there. You, were, you, you saw me and Michael leave the condo the night we eloped to Vegas. Miss Stone, don't you think you could have shared that information with any one of us? I, I cannot believe that you're doing this. Miss Stone, did you see Kendall with Cambias that night? I saw two figures in the shadows. I mean, it was very dark. But, 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 but you saw us. You, you knew it was us. No, I heard your voice, Kendall. Well, what about Michael? Yeah, it, it could have been him. But you weren't sure. Oh, Jackson, what more do you want? Wait, what do you want? You want all the nasty details? You want to know what kinky things we did on our honeymoon? Look, Lena, I'm sorry about this. I'm, the, the, the timing of this sucks, and I'm sorry that you have to suffer. But I married Michael, and nothing's going to change that. Come on, it's fine. I don't blame you. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used Lena, against you in the court of law. It's going to be okay. You have the right All to right, an attorney. We're going to work this out. Everything is going to be fine. If you can't afford the attorney, you won't want present during questioning. One will be appointed for you. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry about Lena. I really am. But we're still sisters, and I'm going to keep your secret no matter what. Well, thank you, Kendall. Yes, we are still sisters, and I do still love you, but you make it really difficult sometimes. I mean, again, you throw Michael in my face, and, and, and now it feels like like you're taking his side against no, Lena or no, something. No, God, Bianca, no, of course not. I'm completely on Lena's side. She's going to beat this. I'm going to get her a great lawyer, and I'm going to help you her. You know what, Kendall? I think you've helped just about enough. Bianca, I'll be very happy to spring for anything that Lena needs. Oh, well, once again, Mrs. Cambius, good job. Lena shows up to save your butt, and what do you do? <laughs> you leave her hanging. You know, it's friends like you. What am I saying here? It's nothing you haven't heard before.
breakfast on the jailhouse cuisine. Thank you. How about a visitor? Right. How are you? You're behind bars and you're asking me how I am? <laughs> Lena, Uncle Jack is fast-tracking your arraignment so that we can bail you out as soon as possible and Ryan already has a call into his lawyer. We're gonna get this all cleared up and then you're gonna be free again. Bianca, I'm free now. For the first time in a very long time. Put you away for attempted murder. I mean, look where you are. I'm exactly where I want to be. I'm free of Michael Cambius once and for all. Well, Michael Cambius has been dead for months. No, he's been alive inside of me, Bianca, infecting every part of my body. Even when I knew that Michael was in hell, that never went away. Until now. And, uh, finally, Michael has no power over me anymore. And who knew all it took was telling the truth uh, and I'd be rid of him? I wish. Michael isn't gone for me, Lena. Thank oh, God, I know. And I, I pray that that'll change soon. Listen. Could you do something for me? Anything. I want you to leave. Now. You want me to leave? I, I don't understand. This is a, a horrible place, and well, Maggie's waiting for you upstairs, and I want the two of you to go out and celebrate. Lena, I'm not going to celebrate while you're in jail. <sighs> what can I say to convince you I, I'm really at peace with this? Lena, you're behind bars. How can you expect me to accept that? Listen, there are a lot worse things to live with than these bars, you know? Things like guilt and fear and despair. And now I'm free of all those because of you. Really, Bianca, <laughs> no matter what happens between us, your love has given me courage, and that courage has given me hope. So whatever happens to me in the future, I'll always have what we shared together. Don't you see? You've made me feel alive again. But this isn't right. And I can't be happy about it. Okay, listen. Do you remember our first morning together? When you finally woke up and you said that the whole world seemed brand new. And then you, your laugh. <laughs> Bianca, I want you to laugh like that again tonight. Can you do that for me? If that's what you want. Yes, it is. I don't think I'm going to laugh like that. <sighs> Look, Maggie knows what you need. And um, she'll help you. Isn't there anything that I can do for you? Isn't there maybe something that I could bring you? Well, the... <laughs> there was something, but I'm not sure my keeper would allow it. Well, that's that's okay, because I'll just use my charms on him. <laughs> And if that doesn't work, then I can just remind him that my uncle is the DA. So what's the contraband? Excuse me, Miss Montgomery. Yes. Look, only a few more minutes, all right? I'm already stretching it. Oh, okay. Um, well, thank you. Howard, that's, uh, that's really very nice of you. <laughs> sure. Did you get it? Of course. Where is it? Oh. <clears throat> hmm. <laughs> you remember? Well, how could I forget? <laughs> no chocolate, not dark, peanuts, not <laughs> almonds, and absolutely no coconut ever. 
Let's make a toast. Is a candy? Is there a better way? To freedom from the past. To freedom. <laughs> Miss McGovern. <laughs> I'm sorry, really. Time's up. You gotta go. Okay, I I'll be right there. Okay. So I'll, I'll check in with you tomorrow. I'd like that.